everybody, and welcome back for episode five of Keep Creating, which is a behind the scenes look at our podcast called The Work. We've had in the studio, gosh, uh, Jermaine Johnson, who's a voiceover agent. We've had Tamika Simpkins, who's a rock star actor slash producer. And we also had a guest host, Carolina Gropa, because Ryan Basham was out in the field producing. And of course, we had his comeback and spent a little time catching up with everything he experienced here. I'll shut up. Let's get to it. She has it. She owns it. She, when she was, casting when she was, yeah, when she was a receptionist at AVO, she was doing research because she wanted to get into casting, and your book was one she bought. Mm. It's rare. Free endorsement. Do your best, Ryan. I can't do my best. I can't do it. Be a caddy bitch. Do it. Oh, that's for you, Ryan. No, I can't. I can't talk, <laughs> Ryan. She's not gonna do you, Ryan. I can't do him. Not with the camera on. Oh. Mm. Well, then in that case, yeah. how you doing, Ryan? I'm great. <laughs> I don't know how Ryan oh, sounds. Ryan, you look a little different, dude. I do. Do I have a beard? Welcome back, Ryan. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't bring candy, though. You were supposed to. But I brought sugar. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that. <laughs> so glad you're totally back. rolling her eyes at you. <laughs> I do have stories, though. I bet everybody has stories about candy. candy? <laughs> we were promised candy. He is an evil, conniving, law-breaking son of a bitch who deserves to be strung up by his thumbs, naked, covered in honey, with ants all around. Did you him. respect that it is a business and that Absolutely. these are people who are all in suits? So maybe you should at least put on pants. Right. Have something that when you go into an audition and you pull it out. Everybody looks at you and says, I had no idea you could make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we, have a, we have a guy who's 20. I say that to my wife. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> right, well, done. well done, well done. Right? <laughs> Don't encourage him. I can't oh, help it. Man. He's my brother. I know. <laughs> Since I was a young child, found therapy in like cutting paper and just that whole thing. I don't That's know why. That's Well, at least it's paper and not people, so. It's <laughs> um, a family audience. show. Family. It's marked explicit. How is it a family show? Your mom's Depends on the explicit. family. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. And it's um. all about the work. <laughs> you don't want to see my inner black woman come out. Oh, I would love to no, see I, that. No, I'm scared to bring it out. I would here love here to see I, that. You could probably do it better than me. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably so. Look at that. That's hor That's hor Look at see that. That's horrible. Look at that. See that? That's bitching. Girl, you know, it's hard. I hear you got your weave on. It's hard. Are you seriously patting your weave? I do, I pat my weave. Everybody get out of the closet now. You can't force that. You can't force that. That's not that's a, why, that's that's not why a bully. That's not a, a bully. That is why. He's a bully. Yeah. Oh my god, cranky pants. Can we do a fucking podcast? Yay! Yay. <laughs> Being able to take direction is a big reason why theatrical actors do well when they make that jump. We shot a music video that I produced in Austin, which is a great little town. Um, it's really, there, every, there are shirts in every gift shop that say keep Austin weird, and it is so weird, but it's weird in the most entertaining, fun way. Uh, yet another manager has been brought up on charges uh, for his, let's say, alleged activities with actors who wanted to be uh, represented by him, who ended up having to go through coaching and again spend thousands of dollars. Oh, look at it like this, I was paying $100 a month on cable. Right. And now I pay $15 a month between Netflix and Hulu. And are you getting to see everything you would get to see on cable? Everything. Everything, and it's current. What we're seeing are several very large, vertically integrated content production and distribution entities all vying for your dollar. But you know what's but interesting, what, I just... Hang on, I'm not done yet. Oh. And so what this does, one of the things that I hate... We're all intelligent enough mm -hmm. to go out there and tell our own stories and create our own things and live our own dreams. And so I just love how you're always reinventing yourself. You're always doing something new. There are no stops. No is not a word in your vocabulary, and I just admire that. I missed the two weeks that we had black guests. Yes, we arranged it that way. Yep. And we sent you to Texas while we were doing it. That's because you're a Southern racist. See? I mean, I am, but I also would like to have been there. Because I make the black people feel more comfortable because I'm also a minority, so you're they like, identify with on that. the way to black? She's pretty much black, yeah. Like, similar to the buy now, gay later plan? Yeah, sure. For the first time, we had another female at the meeting, and I found myself feeling like, Back off, these are my boys. <laughs> I really did. And so when Keith brought the, up this story, and I was like, I don't know. And then I went, no, it is women who are keeping women out. It's a big hurry up and wait game. 
they'll call you on fire at 9.30 and say, I need this person at this studio in four hours. And then you'll say, okay, let me call them, I can do that. And then in two hours they say, yeah, we might need to do this tomorrow. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's a little hectic, it's a little mm. back and forth, but that's, that's a lot of what goes on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's the crack in the smoothie. It's not my fault. There's no crack in there the smoothie. There was crack in my smoothie. It was white stuff in it. I'll throw you out the damn window. What are you Same doing thing. with your horror? Something about Hollywood, I think, that can be a little intimidating. Because mm. I'm from Philadelphia. If I was still there, oh, things would be done with my eyes closed, with no money, <laughs> done on bologna sandwiches and cereal. <laughs> If you're gonna come here, and this is something you talk about, don't come here with the intent to get an agent. Have a reel ready, have work mm -hmm. to show for that you've done, whether it's law and order or not, as regardless. Maybe you've done great work at NYU, yeah. and you have that, and that's all you need. Tell me what it is that excites you about Nut City in particular, and about being a producer, and being a creative outside of the actor brain. It's really all about asking for what you want, mm -hmm. and not trying to keep it to yourself, and I think that's one of the reasons why we were talking about uh, misogyny yes. in Hollywood. I think it's something about women being trained to be the matriarch. Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Right. right. And that's it. And it's like even Julia Roberts, Reese Witherspoon, mm -hmm. like people that you would say, oh, sure, they can put people in butts and seats. Like, you know, Sandra Bullock, people are going to go to see her movies. Nope, not as much as the top 20 men. Like, it's a little crazy. You comment without commenting. I don't see technically no comment is a comment. Mm. So, yeah. It is. And to make a long story short, it's just a phrase that makes your already long story longer. Hmm. I don't have anything no? to say to that. <laughs> That's all I've got. I'll just look at you. Clearly like my story. wife has never heard me tell a long story. I don't think she, well, hmm. <laughs> Yay. Don't, it's a trap. We should say start. nothing. <laughs> yeah, say nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> we never saw this is what happens when you get <laughs> I know. Like, we found this footage. I we found this footage like Blair Witch Project out in the woods next to two podcasting mic. This is what happens at a Twitter live. This insanity <laughs> is what happens when you put oh when you put the hosts all together in a room. What did you put in that smoothie? Seriously. The question is what did not put in it? Mm. Oh. Ew. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, put that away. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As always, thanks for joining us. If you would like to catch up with the work, it's at podcastingthework.com. It's on iTunes where you can rate, subscribe, review, all that cool stuff. We're also on Twitter at twitter.com slash the underscore work. And until next time, keep creating. <laughs>